Hey guys, welcome back. I got another update here tonight on this Ford extended cab fire truck that I'm going to be building. And uh, today's video is just going to be about parts. I've been making parts all day long. And we'll start with the cab. You see these two things poking out the front here. Well, that's going to be for our Mars 888 lights to set on. They'll be setting on the front of it. I made two of those. And I went ahead and created the, uh, the jump seat area for the fire crew in the back. And as you can see here, we've, we've got it uh, all sanded down and uh, able to fit on the frame. You look towards the back here. This will go right on there like that. And it sets right down on our frame. So that helps keep the, the cab level and it, it will give us, uh, you know, a nice level spot for it to set. And then she'll tilt and I'll come right back down. So we've been working on that for the better part of all day, I should say. And Another thing that took up a lot of time is for the back of it, I made the jump seats for it. Here are, well, you guys can't see that. Here are the bottom seats. And then I made four seat backs, just like they're all the same look like little chiclets or little uh, scrabble squares I guess but I'll try to show you real quick how this is going to be now the seat bottom is going to set out towards the front edge like such and we have two of them so there'll be there'll be something like that I can't put these in yet because of the way I designed the seat back. <clears throat> so you got a little seat. All this is is two pieces of 60 thousandths styrene glued together. Then I, shade, I rounded off the corners and then I put a piece of strip styrene around the outside and sanded everything flat. And then we made a little headrest out of a piece of eighth inch tubing and some pieces of paper clip that we just glued on the back. And they will rest on that piece of tubing you see right here. And they'll be something like this. Now they keep, there'll be four of them up in there like that. They keep wanting to slide off because. So we'll have four of them side by side. See if I can get my fat finger out of there. Well, I think you guys get the idea. There'll be four of them setting up in there. Gosh darn it. So I can't lay this down. You won't be able to see it. And I can't tilt it back any farther. Or they'll fall through the windshield. But they'll be setting in there like that. And then we'll have our seat. Splitting the two backrests. And then from the window view. This is what you'll see. You'll see that headrest leaning up there. So there'll be four of those back there. So 
once we get all that done, painted, you can see I have to prime all up in here and stuff. And if I put those seats in there, I won't be able to get it primed. But the next phase, I think, is uh, making our step up. I'll have to add the uh, the step from the LaFrance kit up here. And we'll have to make our step up to go up here and going across so they can get up here in the seat. And let's see, what else did we make today? I made all kinds of crap today. I made some turn signals for the cab. A piece of styrene and a couple fashion jewels. We have amber in the front and red in the back. And these are going to go in these little bitty holes I got drilled here. like such but I will I'll have them setting up a little bit like that of course they're not going to stay up because they need they need super glued in there so we've got two of those made I made the tail light panels that will go on the back of the compartment doors. And I made two of these. These will get uh, painted up, but we got our turn signal, our tail light, and our backup light on there. And I made two of them. What else did we make? We made some uh, lights that are going to go on the back up here and uh, we made a couple of amber flashing lights that will also go on the back and I made our cab lights for it so I we'll have two of them up there and I have Let's get my glasses on here. Two of my uh, CP25 speakers that I'm working on chroming and getting all painted up on the inside. And that will adorn the top of it with uh, the air horns from the LaFrance kit. We'll use the, uh, the the bugle end of it, and then I'll make the rest of it out of styrene tubing, and we'll put those on, on the outside, I do believe, is how I'll do that. And I believe that's it. I mean, you wouldn't believe how long these seats took me to make, but I think they're going to they're gonna look good back there in the, in the back of this truck. And... I was looking at some photographs earlier online and a lot of these trucks had four seats in the back of them that were designed like this cab. And hopefully ours will will look the part when we get done. So that's about all I got for tonight. Uh, I did put... I don't know if I showed this yesterday. I did get the... Uh, the stanchions put on and I think they come out really well they they might be a little big but you know it's like I said it was the smallest I had and the, the sizes all fit together well I'm sure evergreen has something you know smaller in in everything but I thought they come out rather well and what I will do with this is I will just hit this with a Molotov pen after paint and the, the places I can't get with a pen, I will just brush it on. So that'll that'll be some little tedious work, but I've I've done it before. But this guy will, will be on there and that's what we're gonna be working on next is our space between the cab and the pumper body. 
And with that being said, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And I will see you in the next video.